Hello, how to evaluate without calculator? This is 9 divided by 4, raised to the power of 9 divided by 4. Now, you know that 9 is a perfect square, which is 3 times 3, and this is 3 to the power of 2. Also, 4 is a perfect square, which is 2 times 2, and this is 2 to the power of 2. So what we are going to do is here at this base we are going to replace this 9 with 3 to the power of 2 divided by the 4 I'm going to replace it with 2 to the power of 2 and this is raised to the power of 9 over 4. Now remember if you have the power C divided by b power c this equals a divided by b raised to the power of c so i'm going to make use of this identity right here because there's two here and there's two here so what i'm going to do will be i have three divided by two this is raised to the power of two and this is raised to the power of 9 over 4. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So I'm going to apply this identity right here. That means I'm simply going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 times 9 over 4. And this will give me 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 times 9 that is 18 divided by 4. So from here 2 can divide 18 9 times and 2 divides 4 we have 2. So this will simply give us 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 9 over 2. Now, let's copy out this 9 over 2. I can simply express the 9 over 2 as 9 is simply 4 plus 5. Of 4 plus 5 divided by 2. So this simply means you are going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 4 plus 5 divided by 2. And also, if you have a plus b divided by c, this means a divided by c plus b divided by c. So we apply that identity right here. That means you are simply going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 4 divided by 2 plus 5 divided by 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I'm simply going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 5 divided by 2. Now from here, let's consider this other identity. If you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a to the power of n times a to the power of n. So we are simply going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 times 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 5 over 2. So right now, if you consider this, we are also going to apply this identity 
you have a divided by p raised to the power of c. This equals a power c divided by p power c. So we apply the identity here. That means we are simply going to have 3 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2 raised to the power of 5 over 2. So from here, I'm simply going to have 3 power 2, that is 9 divided by 2 power 2, that is 4 times 3 over 2 raised to the power of 5 over 2. Now, let's also consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n over m, this equals the m root of a to the power of n. So we apply this identity right here. That means we are simply going to have 9 over 4 times we have the square root of this is 3 over 2 and this is raised to the power of 5. So from here, if you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So that means we are simply going to have 9 divided by 4 times square root of 3, then divided by square root of 2, and this is raised to the power of 5. And don't forget the fact that we have made use of this identity. If you have a divided by b raised to the power of c equals a power c divided by b power c. So this would give us 9 divided by 4 times. This is cube root. Or this is square root of 3 to the power of 5 divided by square root of 2 to the power of Five. So from here, we are simply going to have 9 over 4 times square root of 3 to the power of 5 is simply square root of 3 times 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 square root of 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Divided by square root of 2 to the power of 5 is square root of 2 times, 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 square root of 2. So, let's multiply that out. This equals 9 over 4 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. This will give you square root of 9, which is, which is 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, this will give you square root of 9 which is 3. So 3 times 3, that is 9. We have 9 root 3 because there's one square root of 3 here. So this will give us 9 root 3. Have you seen it? Divided by, let's do the same thing here. Square root of 2 times square root of 2, this will give us square root of 4, and square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2, this will give us square root of 4, and square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2, 4, and there's root 2 here, that is 4 root 2. So from here, we are simply going to have 9 times 9, this is 81 times root 3, we have 81 root 3, divided by, this is 4 times 4, this is 16, and we have 16 root 2. Now, we are going to rationalize this denominator by multiplying this numerator by root 2, which is the root 2 we have here, divided by root 2. So from here, this will give us, this is 81 
times root 3 times root 2, this is root 6. And divide by, this is 16. Root 2 times root 2, this is root 4. And root 4 is 2, so this is 16 times 2. So the final answer will be 81 root 6 divided by 16 times 2 is 32. You cannot divide 81 and 32, so you leave it this way. So this is our final answer, and I believe you have enjoyed this video. So that is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.